to this random tattoo shop just to get what you want. But like, right. I never want to limit it to just what I want. I mean, I definitely want your heart in it. When I was 16, 17 years old, um, I was living in Wisconsin and I had a fake ID and I went and got my first tattoo. And I was like, yeah, this is the coolest thing on the planet. Like there's nothing better than this, greatest experience ever. Um, and I'd always been doing art, like drawing and painting and that kind of thing. And I said, at that point, if, um, if I could ever do this for a living, like that would be it. Like I, that's, this is what I'm supposed to do. I knew that I wanted to kind of do it um, through an apprenticeship. I didn't just want to do it at my house or like kind of make it up on my own. Um, and so for 10 years, <laughs> I kept getting tattooed, kept asking tattooers and worked a bunch of other jobs in between. And then I um, met Everett, who's the owner of this shop. Mm -hmm. And he, we were doing an art hop uh, at the old shop down there. And so I was showing my artwork, my paintings and stuff. And then I approached him and said, hey, like, do you want to apprentice me? Like, is that a thing? And he was like, yeah, bring your portfolio of like just uh, watercolors and drawings and stuff and we'll see what we can do. And um, yeah, and so then that started. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, I'll give you a shot. Uh, well, it was Everett's wife who I tattooed, so the boss's wife. And I came in one day to do my normal um, apprentice bitch duties is what we call them, um, cleaning the shop and prepping or whatever. And he was like, you ready to tattoo today? And I was like, cool, man. And he's like, no, no. You're gonna tattoo Jasmine today. And I went, okay, okay. like that so straight face, like said, okay. And then I ran outside when we were back there into like the courtyard and was like, whoosh, like almost just like falling apart, you know? And then took a deep breath and was like, you can do this, you can do it. So pep talked myself up. Um, needless to say, my hands were super shaky. I was like sweating, it was, it was crazy. Uh, but really powerful, like that's a big deal to yeah. permanently mark someone's body. No, it was like, man, this is intense. Like, that's all I thought was like, this is crazier than I ever thought it was. This is not just drawing. This is not just, you know, any kind of normal medium. This is real. Like, you have this intimate space with another human being, and you're putting something permanent that's going to change the out, outer appearance of their skin. Yeah. Okay, that's heavy, you know? And so take it, that, I think that's when it made it very serious to mm -hmm. me, where I was like, this is a privilege, like, and I need to treat it that way. Um, I started out um, doing like a lot of art shows, like so participating in Art Hop, doing wheat pasting, um, murals and things like that, and meeting a lot of local artists. And so from there, it was kind of like people that knew me in that capacity were kind of excited to see what I was going to do mm -hmm. as a tattooer. And then I really just had the best community of friends. Like, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous because I think about the people, I call it the first 30 because I tracked the first 30 tattoos I ever did. I numbered them, like one, two, three, four, all the way down. And people were so willing to like, let me just tattoo them after like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. having no experience and being like, no, this is your journey. Like we want to be a part of it. Like let us take that on, you know? And I'm like, so, so blessed. So blessed. Yeah. I'm so blessed. You know? <laughs> I'm so blessed, yeah, but really, I mean, to have the kind of people and community that are willing to just put that much faith in you is amazing, and without that, like, I don't think I would have been nearly as successful yeah. and motivated to keep going, because it is really hard in the beginning. I really have, well, I've been doing a lot of florals lately, a lot of, like, really organic things, and that's really fun. Um, I love doing, so what I'm doing now is, like, pretty, uh, like, American traditional, kind of the style, and I love that, because... It kind of has basic principles that you follow, like there's minimal um, <clears throat> minimal options of color, like you only have to use like three or four colors and it all is based on the quality of your line work and uh, where you put the black shading. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a formula, which is really cool and it, it stood the test of time, so I appreciate that very much. Yeah. And then I like doing kind of an illustrative black and gray fine line um, detail that reminds me of printmaking because I love printmaking. Right. Um, and it has, yeah, it, the ability to use just black and kind of textural elements to create something with dimension is really, really fun. Yeah. Way too many, <laughs> way too, my mom would say plenty, plenty. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I have, my arms are pretty well covered. I have my side done um, and a couple on my legs, but I'm still going. I wouldn't even say I'm that heavily tattooed for a tattooer. I'm not as fully, you know, most people are 
all the way up and then like neck yeah. and yeah, chest and all that kind of stuff. So I still keep it moderate. And at this point, I'm just looking to collect from artists that I like. So it's not so much about me wanting specific things, but being really inspired by what someone is doing. And it's like, oh, whatever you're into right now, I just want to collect that. Yeah, because yeah, I'm so inspired by what, yeah. you know, what you're doing or whatever. I feel like a lot of them are just, I mean, it helps me track my life. It yeah. brings me back to a memory. It's like when you smell something that like triggers something in your brain and you're like, oh man, why do I like that so much? Or what is that making me think of? And it does the same thing. Yeah. As long as I still love it and feel like I want to keep getting better and I want to, you know, keep giving people an amazing experience yeah. and, and putting out really good work. And I know that, you know, I'm not where I want to be yet in the industry or like in my skill level. Mm -hmm. And so, and I don't know if that will ever happen because I'm not sure you can, you know, ever achieve like the level that you want. But I mean, I get so excited about it every day. Like, and, and I think if that, if that ever stops, then I'll probably stop. But at this point it's just like, it's the coolest job in the world. Like, how, how can I give it up, you know? <laughs>